but we really have to analyze what just happened. So, you know, these guys, they they can't stand, they can't stand that what happened happened, but what happened happened and can't be reversed. You know, they can't go back in, in the in the past and change this. It's, it's already happened now. So millions of people, I think, are now understanding that the mass media does not want black people to know who they are. They do not want you to know who you who you are. And this is why there was such a frenzy and commotion that it was on sports channels, it was on news channels, podcasts, everybody and their mama was talking about that the mass media does not want black people to know who they are. They that the mass media does not want black people to know who they are. They I take the position that the scripture teaches that all things work for good for those that love the Lord. And when you love Almighty God and you recognize that you're going through a period of affliction and trial from my understanding of scripture that God wanted his servant to come preach the gospel if you really love me no I'm not spooked up well I'll preach the gospel no I'm not spooked up well I'll preach the gospel If you could just discover what God has deposited in your soul, you are to be as great or greater than the prophets of God. Well, I preach the gospel. The book said he will pour out his spirit on you in these days without number. That you will see the old prophets walking around. You will see Abraham and David and Lot and Moses and Noah coming right up among you. Well, I preach the gospel. Young men shall see visions and old men shall dream dreams. Some of us are becoming so wise today that we can see tomorrow. Some of our children can actually pour water in a glass and look into the glass and see what is going on in parts of the world just like you look at a television set. No, I'm not spooked up. Well, I preach the gospel. I believe from my understanding of scripture, the black people of America are the real chosen people of Almighty God.
But like Elijah the prophet, I will invite the scholars of religion to Mount Carmel once again. And I will be glad to challenge you to prove that they were in bondage in Egypt for 400 years building pyramids. I challenge the Jews, bring us your evidence that you are the people of God. I challenge the scholars and the theologians, bring your proof. No, I'm not spooked up. Well, I preach the gospel. The chosen of God. This is your destiny. I believe from my understanding of scripture the black people of America are the real chosen people of Almighty God. Time is accomplished. 
Go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Moses wanted to know, who am I to go to Pharaoh? Go and tell Pharaoh, go and tell Pharaoh, go tell Pharaoh that I said let them go. Go and tell Pharaoh, Moses, I hold you responsible. Tell Pharaoh that I said let them go. If he asks, who sent you? Tell him I am. That I am. What do you mean? Anytime you have a people that have become as we have become, living in spiritual caves, very savage in our behavior, the only thing that will lift a people up is the divine law of Almighty God. So you have the law of the Old Testament giving you ten commandments that have to be re-given today to black people who have become wicked in our sojourn in America. be angry and you won't carry but a little while if you touch me God will not only require my blood at your hands but he will bring the blood of all of the prophets that you have killed from Abel to Zechariah to bear on this one generation it would be better that you had a millstone around your neck and be dropped in the bottom of the sea it would be wise to leave me alone I am the last of the one of the God for you What's really going on in the world? You sleep on God. You sleep on God. Look at your book, black man, and see what's really going on in the world. You sleep on God. God is setting up the condition for you. He got a cross. Killing all the orange groves, the citrus plants in Florida. They stole the land from us. They got it by fraud. And now blacks don't hardly have any land in America. Amass the money. And the white farmers are getting sick and tired and can't make the payments on their land. Look at your book, black man, and see what's really going on in the world. You sleep on God. God is setting up the condition for you. Look at your book, black man. Have you noticed that Joseph in the Bible became a master in the land where he was made a slave and he became master because he was put over the grain house of Pharaoh? Look at your book, black man. You sleep on God. God is setting up the condition for you. Look at your book, black man, and see what's really going on in the world. You sleep on God. Look at your book, black man. You sleep on God. You think that's in the book just for talk? Go look at Iowa. Nebraska, Illinois, Missouri, 
Look there and you'll see that's the breadbasket of America. Look at what you see in Africa. A crawling, creeping famine. Isn't that what arose when Joseph was about to come into power? A famine swept where the brothers were that helped to sell the brother into bondage? Look at your book, black man. God is setting up the condition for you. The Bible says that God would choose a people that were no people at all and he would make them his people. The Bible says that God would choose a foolish people and he would choose them to be his own. The Bible teaches that God would choose a stone that was rejected of men. He would choose a people that were despised, rejected, unloved, and unwanted. And he would claim them to be his people and he would be their God. And he would lift the bottom rail to the top and the last would become the first. And this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our sight. Your Bible is telling you and me that as Moses had to lift up the serpent in the wilderness, you, the sons of men, have to be lifted up again today. And you, the people of God, whom God has chosen to be his own, have to be reformed and brought up to standards of righteousness and decency that you may carry out your divine mission for Almighty God. In the book of Genesis, in the 15th chapter, the 13th, 14th, and 15th verses, God says to Abraham, Know of a surety, Abraham, that your seed is going to be a stranger in a land that is not theirs. And they shall serve them, and they shall afflict them for hundred years. But after that time, I will come. Go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. the troubles of this world now you are done with the troubles of this world moaning and they're groaning and they're crying that reached his ears i will come and i will judge that nation come out of the trouble of your slave master's children
been weighed in the balance and found wanting, the judgment is here. And now, what must be done? You see, it's time for you to make your exodus. Listen, listen, listen. Exodus. Exodus means coming out. I like that. Listen, listen, listen. Exodus. It's like a baby in the womb whose time has come. It must come out. Listen, listen, listen. Exodus. Your time has come. You must come out. Come out of what? Are you saying, Fair Khan, that we should get up and go back to Africa? I'm saying, black brother and sister, it's time for you to come out. Come out of what? Come out of Egypt. Soon. Listen, listen, listen. Exodus. Well, I can't speak plain. And Jehovah chided him and said, who made your mouth? Yeah, but if you're uncomfortable, I'll send your brother Aaron with you. Both of you go. But Moses, I hold you responsible. Tell Pharaoh that I said, let them go. Beloved, as I leave you, this is what God wants you to do today. Create an economic movement. I leave you with this thought. Listen, listen, listen. Exodus. Exodus means coming out. I like that. Listen, listen, listen. Exodus. It's time.
for you to come out. Come out of what? Come out of Egypt. Soon I will be done with the troubles of the world. You don't know how close you are. Soon? No, not soon. Now you are done with the troubles of this world. Now you are done with the troubles of this world. Israel? Yeah. 